It's a great pleasure for me, these beautiful Caribbean nations are going for this fast. <laughs> this memorandum of understanding that we are signing, it will also bring some technical assistance to the Caribbean region. This is a historic moment because here is the first step to turn around. What you're doing today is really important because people like you who have a wonderful following of millions and millions of people and what you're doing with that is so important with saving the soil. If you want to say, I love you to your child, you must just say safe soil because it is a more committed way of saying I love you. It's an extraordinary campaign. It echoes what we in the Commonwealth have been aspiring to do for a number of years. Next hundred days from 21st of March, we want the whole world to talk about soil. It is not about the motorcycle, it's not about the journey, it's not about the song, it is about moving people on the planet. Make it happen, huh? Nobody spoke about soil like Sai Guru does. I think if we all contribute, then we have a really strong voice. and everybody is so excited to hear Sadhguru. This is our time on the planet. What we do here is our business. Let's do the right things. I honestly didn't feel a part of the movement before, obviously, I'd never met him. Seeing what kind of a following he has and how impactful it is, I really feel like I just joined a global movement. Graffiti artists supporting this Safe Soil movement, wanting to inspire the youth, and youth being the major population in most parts of the world today, all graffiti artists, to whatever walls that you have, make sure that you use this. beautiful cities of Europe. It really resonated with me, the message that we have to save uh, our soil. It's our common issue together. It's not for one nation, for one person, but uh, we as people have to unite and uh, to solve this. This is a celebration of human beings coming together to do what they need to do. Rishimo Pers! All of us have been part of this destruction. The only way is all of us become part of the solution also. Yeah. Thank you, Sadhguru, thank you. Riding on to Italy. Italy is raining heavily tonight. We are in Venice. So it's like a, a wave of hope. It's necessary for the future. Over two thousand years ago, this eternal city made the mistake of over-farming the region and that was also the fall of the city at that time. So, the Romans of today should never make that mistake once again. And we are very happy that we are aligned in our message to uh, really hide the profile of soils. Young people getting into farming is very good. That's the future of the world. Thank you.
Here we are in Geneva. I think there, it's a message of urgency, but it's also a message of hope. So I'd really like to thank Sadhguru for his leadership. The global movement led by him addresses the soil crisis by mobilizing people around the entire world. This massive fountain in the Lake of Geneva is lit up for Save Soil today. With Save Soil colors of blue and green, you cannot stop this. The moment is on. It's going to be on till the policies are done. In this cold, slippery road and winds are picking up speed, no matter what the hell, I have to keep going. You think this is a problem? Relentless commitment to what you do. That is the only solution. Save soil, let's make it happen. An MOU to be signed between Isha Foundation and four per thousand initiative soils for food security and climate. We were just sharing exactly the same object. Increasing carbon content in the soil. Sadhguru, so, what you are doing is really impressive. I am quite amazed and thrilled by it. I was very honored to be on the stage and, and be able to actually express that, that uh, his mission is uh, what we need. It's fantastic. The grant has been great. Come on, Brussels. We should all stand up and make the most impact we can to create a real change in the world. Save the soil. Get the border! A smashing evening at the main event. And a super enthusiastic crowd committing themselves to make this happen. This is heartwarming to see everybody come together. Save soil on the moon. Let's make it happen. Just look up the news and see in the last four months, how many governments have started talking about soil because they see it's picking up momentum. But if you create three to four billion people talking about soil, that's it. That will be the main conversation in the government. Save the Soil is a very important movement that we support as UNCCD. We would like to propose to the world to do whatever they can to protect the soil because it is our future. Save soil, let's make it happen. The education ministry in Germany has now come into the picture officially and asked all the children to do artwork to support Safe Soil Movement. Good, Arjun. Wonderful. Congratulations that you wrote to the Prime Minister. Let's make it happen! So, on the way to Bratislava, well, the road surface is not great. It's great that all of you are here in Bratislava. Nobody ever imagined hundred years ago that we will have to save soil of all the things. Would you like to come in the kitchen and cook with me a little Why bit? Why not? Without soil being rich, food won't be rich. Without food being rich, our bodies will not be a full potential. What do you call that? <laughs> it's a Sadhguru salad. <laughs> table 12. <laughs> the old heroes always built something which stands up like this. But the new heroes are those people who will nurture the soil which always lies beneath our feet, never stands up. Now, oh, this wonderful city of Belgrade, 
the UNFAO said something which really deeply hurt me is the soil that we are consuming right now belongs not even to these little children, belongs to the unborn child. This is an expression of our love and responsibility for our own lives and the future lives. I love the message that he sent and how he like broadened it that it's everybody's responsibility. I think there is a great potential for a good collaboration, partnership with the campaign Save the Soil and what we are doing as a government, we can make it together. It's very important bringing a certain sense of love and celebration towards the land that we walk upon. Uh, going from Sofia to Bucharest, not a weather for motorcycle for sure. Organize yourselves whichever way you want, form groups, come together somehow and see this happens. Sadhguru reminded me that I have a voice. The people from Istanbul were really amazed by Sadhguru to appear and they were just so happy to see him. This many people, if all of you are committed, and you spend fifteen, twenty minutes a day to enhance the message. I think I don't have to go on writing like crazy. Yesterday I wrote eighteen hours. Can you believe this through Bulgarian roads? It's an honest expression of his wisdom and love for humanity, I think. He's been riding through very, uh, you know, rough terrain, rough, rough roads, dusty construction sites. It was a long drive and we were getting a little late for the live event at Tbilisi. He, right at the end, uh, maybe five minutes before the event, uh, decided that he couldn't stop for a break. In the traffic, he was just removing his jacket and gloves and throwing in the car just to make it on time. The whole purpose of this moment is to first to bring this home that when you walk upon the soil, you know it is the source of your life. Keeping it alive is the most important thing. Will you make it happen? from God, for, for the people, for the earth, yes. for the soil. We must save the soil, we must plant the trees, we must replenish the forest, we must save our planet. <laughs> Wonderful, thank you so much for standing up for soil. <laughs> Right now, soil has turned into sand because we pulled out all the organic content. We are taking the life out of the soil. If we don't put that back, all the other concerns which are important to be attended to, but none of them will matter. This is not for us, this is for him and his generation hoping that they would have a better future with a better world. Save soil. Here in Palestine, wonderful to be here. I salute you 
and I respect your initiative and my full support of what is needed from the Palestinian side to support you. The most important thing is we must keep our lands alive for future generations because that is a fundamental responsibility we hold for our children and future generations beyond them. Well, it's very, very, I can tell you as a motorcycle driver, I also like motorcycles and it's not easy. The, the, the main, this guy is devoted and this is what makes him so impressive and so he touches people. When it comes to agriculture, when it comes to soil, when it comes to soil ecology, our national borders mean nothing because microorganisms operate as a global system. People are talking about doctors without borders. I'm asking you, are you beings without borders? Are you alive without borders? Dear Sadhguru, one of the world's voices and leaders on soil conservation and land, in this day and age, having him and having you here is absolutely fantastic and we welcome you. Implementation has to happen on the land and land is not managed by scientists, land is managed by farmers. So it's extremely important, it must be a single point agenda, incentive based agenda. If inspiration, incentives and disincentives after a certain period of time is the way forward, this is my appeal to every one of you because I don't want this COP15 to end as one more convention with more paper and more paper. This must end with concrete action, an action in such a way that is it's implementable. There is no word to describe what Sadhguru is doing for us. We know how much, you know, you had to do it to get here, you left so many things you were doing with it, but you honored the country, you honored the people of this country. Thank you. And on behalf of the head of state, it's my pleasure. Have, <laughs> I want to thank you very much. It's a great privilege. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Save soil! Save soil! Let's make it happen! The Saudi Arabia as a kingdom is since 1970s, converting deserts into fertile lands has been quietly happening. Other countries which have fertile lands and actively working to turn them into deserts, you must put them to shame, it's very important. In so many ways we have found uh, the differences between each other in terms of nationality, race, religion, caste, creed. <coughs> if we act as one humanity, in the next ten, fifteen years we can turn this around. <laughs> اللي نفعل ذلك على أرض الواقع بمبادرات عملية وجادة ملموسة الأثر عن كل التربة سيف سوي We're very glad to have Sadhguru in the Kingdom of Bahrain Right now this is not even about generosity, this is about survival It's an honor to have you here in this location, in the heart of Bahrain, in this ancient harbor. We're very proud that you're here today discovering the layers of history in this beautiful place. You know, the most important thing of what I have learned from him is that the most important thing is to live in harmony and peace within yourself. <laughs> Forty minutes past uh, midnight, just another maybe thirty kilometers to the Emirates border, UAE border. It's been a long drive, probably nine hundred and thirty kilometers today we're doing.
Well, uh, UAE has become, you know, an airline hub and a shopping hub and other kinds, but nobody imagined it could be an ecological hub. Thank you so much for being here with us, Sadhguru, on this, on this wonderful journey. The UAE is partnering with you on safe soil, such an important cause. Safe soil is surely a cause that we can all fully endorse. My dear brother Sadhguru, I would like to thank you for including the United Arab Emirates in your inspiring journey. I'm proud to share that the UAE is working hard to include soil management and national strategies and policies. Save the soil is one of the most important things on the planet right now. It's not his mission, it needs to become all of our missions. I'm here to save soil. I had a meeting with uh, Sadhguruji somewhere in uh, December, I believe. And uh, the net outcome of that whole thing is that I have earmarked funds to make good of the eco deficit of that particular year. Economy should also go grow, but it should have a ecological responsibility in its growth. Right now everybody is talking about robotics. It's time robotics goes into agriculture. Right now you have a big machine which just rips the soil off. This if you leave the robotic machines through the day and night where just as much as needed they can do. They don't have to rip the whole soil, yes. Science is already there, we know what to do. It is just that industry has not caught up because in the policy those things have not come. I didn't imagine that we could find a lot of Omani people joining the movement. Yeah, I said, Oman, oh one more desert I have to write. I said, no Sadhguru, Oman looks like Kerala. <laughs> if one part of your nation is green, it just takes a determined effort to stretch that green all the way up. <laughs>